What's up, my YouTube friends? How y'all doing? I hope y'all all having a blessed day. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And in today's video, it's going to be another Watch Me Work. So let's get right into it, y'all. All right, y'all. So today I'm doing my neighbor's nails, y'all. She asked me if I can do her nails because she's going on vacation to Florida. A little mini vacation to Florida. So she asked if I can do her nails. And I said, hell yeah, if you want me to. It's like, no. Nah, but anyway. <laughs> so starting off, I'm starting to prep off. Or to prep off. To prep her nails with this mini mandrel sanding band, y'all. The best thing ever made. I did get this one from AliExpress along with the 240 um grit sanding bands and the 150 grit sanding bands i am using the 240 grit one whoever invented this shit is fucking a genius because this thing is fucking bomb.com y'all like this shit works wonders especially to get all around that you know cuticle area and all that good stuff so i'm just using this uh, mandra bit to push back the eponychium to expose any cuticles that stuck on the nail plates to lift you know take away all that cuticle that's probably stuck on the nail plate and all that good stuff and also to use the sanding band to file down her nail tips or her free edge nails should i say however you want to say it no y'all it's her free edge her nails <laughs> but anyway yeah so um i'm just gonna do this to all the nails y'all as you can see that I'm using the sanding band like to push back the cuticles or the eponychium, whatever you want to call it, and to expose all that stuff, you can see, you can see all that getting lifted up or the cuticles like being lifted away from that area. Like it's so, look, 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 like it's so freaking satisfying. Like I don't got to use no cuticle pushers to push no cuticle back or none of that stuff it's like the sanding band the sanding band the sanding band is doing it for me you know so yeah and then all i gotta do is go in with some cuticle scissors or some nippers which i don't like to use that to cut away anything that i cannot do with the cuticle ball bit because i'd rather use the cuticle ball bit uh, to exfoliate or, or to take away any um dead skins that might be lifted and all that good stuff but if i can do it with the cuticle ball bit i will use some cuticle scissors to do that all right y'all if you are new here my name is momo and i love to do nails anything that's nail related i like to do and nail mail and all that good stuff so if those are the type of videos that you like to watch well guess what honey you are in the right channel right so do me that favor, right, real quick, and, and go hit that subscribe button really fast, right, and that notification bell right next to it onto all, so that then you can get notified when I upload, you know, a vid those videos that you like to watch, all right, and become my YouTube friend. I would love to have you as my YouTube friend. And not only that, y'all, I'm on a road to 1,000 subscribers, so if you can help me get there by hitting that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart if you do so. It would really, really mean a lot to me, okay? help me get there okay <laughs> all right y'all so um like i said this is going to be a watch me work video um so i might just like won't be in the video as much talking but if i need to pop in to talk about anything or say anything i'll pop back in but um yeah I might just let it play and might and just let y'all watch the video of what I'm doing without me talking. Okay, y'all let me know what is a watch me work video is. Let me know in the comments down below what is a watch me work video. The watch me work video, are you supposed to talk through the video while you watching the video? <laughs> right because i the, okay the title is like watch me work hey, am i supposed to talk through the video while you watching me work or i'm not supposed to talk through the video while you watching me work okay let me know or it doesn't matter let me know what you think or which one is the preferred one or whatever okay i don't know i do both i think because some other my other watch me work videos i did talk through it just to you know just to let y'all know what i'm doing and all that good stuff and then there was other times where i just let it play and then just let y'all you know 
watch the video while I'm working, okay? But anyway, with that being said, y'all, um, just sit back and relax. Grab some munchies, grab your favorite drinks, your favorite munchies, chill in your sofa, grab your phone, your laptop, or whatever, your comfy, um, your comfy little blanket, pillow, and all that good stuff, and relax and watch me work, okay? Enjoy, and I hope you enjoy this video as much as I do, putting it out for y'all. I enjoy doing these type of videos, watch me work videos, so, um, yeah. And I hope y'all enjoy also. So if you enjoy, please don't forget to hit that like button for me. All right, y'all. So after the sanding band, I went in with the cuticle ball bit to go around that epinechium a little bit more just to give it a nice little more cleanup or, you know, to erase or take away any dead skins that is lifted. So like that, I don't have to use the nippers or the um, cuticle scissors to do that. Um, it did do some work. I mean, work like it did take away some of that, but not a lot of it. And I felt like when I was using this cuticle ball bit, like I felt like if I was hurting her or if I was in in one spot a little too long, like trying to take away like anything that needs to be cut away. And yeah, I felt like I was in that one spot for like a little too long with the cuticle ball bent and it was, and I didn't want to like irritate her or hurt her with that. I do be asking them if it hurts or not, you know, but you know, they be telling me no, but sometimes I be thinking they be lying. So I did as much as I can with the cuticle ball bit, right? And then after that, uh, whatever I couldn't do with the ball bit, then I took the some cuticle scissors and I started to do the rest with the cuticle scissors y'all you see like right here you see me going back and forth onto the same spot just trying to try to take away that dead skin that is right there and I kept going back and forth to it and trying like <laughs> to take it away with the cuticle ball bit so like that I do not have to use the nipper or the scissors y'all because it scares the shit out of me to do that to someone else okay on me I don't mind but on someone on someone else it scares me so yeah y'all that part was be was being very stubborn so that's why I went in with now you see me going in with the cuticle scissors so I can cut away anything that I couldn't do with the cuticle ball bit okay so yeah so if that happens to y'all and y'all see that you know the cuticle ball bit ain't doing what it's supposed to do or anything like that you know I, like if you're scared like me to use a, some cuticle scissors or some nippers then it doesn't hurt to try but you know just make sure you just be you know be slow about it and take your time and you know and do your best okay so you gotta try it sometimes you know order for you to get to know order for you to get it and know what to do you know you gotta try it okay so you gotta practice you know so yeah so i was like you know what fuck it i'm just gonna take that chance i'm gonna take my time and just cut around the cuticle area to, me to the best of my ability trying not to cut her or anything like that but yeah right here it might seems like I, yeah i'm being rough or i'm going too fast yeah y'all it's because the video it is speed up y'all but trust me i am being very careful and slow about this situation okay <laughs> all right y'all so i'm gonna leave you right here i'm gonna play some music for y'all so y'all can just relax and watch the video okay
all right y'all so i i i was done doing the nails but i always like to double check my work after i'm done so i noticed that the colors that i used wasn't that opaque be, you know maybe because i didn't use enough because i did i do do a thin layer because at the end of the day i do always in, like to encapsulate all my nails so uh after the nails got dried and all that i noticed that the color needed to be more opaque so i just went back with a little bit more acrylic just to build up the opaqueness of it and yeah and that's about it y'all so after i did that i seen that it looked much better and more brighter the color looked more brighter and yeah so um i was happy with that and then after that i'm going in with clear acrylic to encapsulate all the nails y'all
all right y'all we get to the end of the video we yes we at the end of the video um now i'm going to file the nails y'all and i am so sorry i got a confession to make um yeah i did not i did not capture me decorating the nails at all y'all when i was in this process of me filing the nails i looked up at the phone to see to make sure i was in frame and when i seen that phone was off completely blank i was like fuck 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 okay i was so freaking mad y'all so yeah it just it just kept it just recorded me filing the nails with this hand file right here and that's about it it didn't even catch me using the e-file or none of that stuff so anyway y'all sorry about that but anyway all i did was you know got some rhinestone glue decorated the nails with these three these little homemade charms um that i got from chin and some little pearls and rhinestones and all that good stuff and then you know cured it for 60 seconds that's about it and then put some shiny top coat the only thing for the ring nails y'all i did use um the no wipe rhinestone glue from the set gel nails and i took a liner brush and i did some sort some lines thin lines going across making it like a 3d look and then i just sprinkled some white holographic fine glitters on top of it and then cured that for 60 seconds so i could get like that 3d you know unicorn look should i say you'll see it after um after this clip right here you'll see how the ring nail would look but yeah but that's about it y'all and then i use whatever um rhinestones or whatever to decorate the nails that you're gonna see on the nails and that's about it so yeah y'all so i just want to say uh, um thank y'all so much for watching thank you so much for tuning in let me know in the comments down below what you think about this nail set i would love to know your thoughts and don't forget y'all that you are blessed by the best so always stay blessed be safe out here y'all and please come back again i love y'all and don't forget to subscribe bye